hello friends so following the previous video uh, i got some queries about amniocentesis and chronic villus sampling so very quickly and very briefly i'll talk about both of them so basically both of the techniques are used to validate and confirm the presence of uh, trisomy in india or the chromosomal disorders in, in the fetus now what you have to understand that the amniotic fluid can only be tapped when there is adequate amount of the amniotic fluid by the first trimester when the sac is still developing you do not have adequate amount of amniotic fluid so when you want to look at the fetal tissue we take a sample from the chorionic villi so in the first 10 to 12 weeks when you're doing the testing it will have to be the chorionic villus sampling it cannot be the amniocentesis Amniocentesis will be done later on when the size of the sac is more, the amount of amniotic fluid is greater. So, at the age of 15 to 18 weeks is when you do the amniocentesis, right? So, at 10 to 12 weeks, if you are doing the test for confirming the trisomies, it has to be the chronic villus sampling. But later on, when you are doing the uh, sampling, uh, the amniotic fluid is adequate in amount and you can perform the amniocentesis at around 15 to 18 weeks. Both of them will give you the fetal sample which is then subjected to karyotyping. So final diagnosis is by karyotyping. Amniocentesis and CVS is only to get the sample. It is not the final test. It gives you the sample which is then subjected to karyotyping. Karyotyping will tell you whether the trisomy is there or not. Okay. So uh, that's about amniocentesis and chronic blood sampling, when to do which test for confirmation of trisomy. Thank you.